you for trusting WRBL News 3. I'm Phil Scoggins. And I'm Teresa Whitaker. Active service members, veterans, military spouses, and families celebrated the 4th of July for the first time at Fort Moore's newly opened USO. The USO is the nation's leading nonprofit organization supporting the men and women in the U.S. military and families during their time in the uniform. WRBL's Hannah James files this exclusive report. The USO has sites all over the globe. Fort Moore joined them in February of this year when they opened their site on the installation. Center Operations Manager of the USO at Fort Moore, Jasmine Murphy, grew up a military child. Her father served for 26 years. This is home. When they come in, they're going to have open arms. They're going to understand what's happening um, here. We understand what they're going through, um, but just being there to listen to them. Marine Private First Class Gavin Finniff came to Fort Moore on June 14th. Despite all the movement the military brings, Finniff says the USO is one of the constants. The USO means a lot. Uh, I come from a military background. I was born on a Marine Corps base, so I've had multiple experiences with them. Uh, they you know, care about the families that are on base. They show us love and give us activities and events to do to show their appreciation towards us, which we, end up, we appreciate back. One of those families includes the Robinsons, who arrived at Fort Moore one year ago. The reason why I like coming to the USO is the family atmosphere. Like, I always feel welcome. Everyone's excited. Um, they remember you when you come in. Um, there's a lot to do for the kids. There's a playroom. There's a game room. And when they have their events, it's not, we try to come early because of the small kids, but it's easy. Everything's always ready to go, so the kids get to enjoy the full experience. As the USO and the nation pauses to reflect on the freedoms fought for by our nation's heroes, the price tag of those freedoms is not lost. My dad is deployed, my uncle is deployed, so I've seen, I, well, I haven't seen action, but like, I've been part of someone who has, um, so I know what they go through and, and what the fight for the stuff that we are very fortunate to have in this country. Um, and that's why I joined, is because I wanted to also help out and do my part. To the soldiers, um, I just want to thank them for their service. Like being a military spouse, although I'm not active, I'm not actively serving. I feel a part of it, so I can understand what they go through because my husband's active duty and what he does on a daily basis affects the family. So the fact that they go and risk their lives to do all this and protect our country, um, it's worthwhile, and I appreciate their service. And that was Hannah James reporting. In addition to this week's 4th of July events, the USO has hosted color runs, coffee connections, and a bracelet making class. Switching gears to our weather now, we've had an Independence Day battle in the skies between sunshine and clouds. Some folks even got a shower. Chief Meteorologist Bob Jeswell watching the radio.